Hi guys, it's Jenny. This forest vlog from July when it was really dry and really warm and my husband and I and our two youngest children decided to go for a walk to a town nearby called Fishbark. My pronunciation is awful, I know. This time our forest walk video is mostly just uh, the beautiful forest, which was a bit dry that day. <laughs> You're not speaking the right language, Ads. Right now, Beth. He's speaking British sheep. Yeah, he's speaking. No, but which one? Really? <laughs> they just sound like. Which one's bear and which one's man? Bear. They're just sheep. I think sheep are bear. 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 Oh, he responded. <laughs> Actually, they may just be telling each other about the dogs they can hear. <laughs> okay, no, they're answering. <laughs> Bear. I can talk to sheep. <laughs> sheep man. Bear. Do it again. Bear. Again. Bear. Again. No, they don't want to talk anymore. Bear. They've already answered your question and you keep asking. <laughs> Bear. <laughs> Bear. 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 I like shut up guys. <laughs> You're gonna attract the wolves. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, there's one down there. There's one right there. There's one right there. There's one right there. It's, it's a, a young one. It's a baby. Oh, buddy. But can he get back again? Oh, that might be what they're banging about. Oh, hello. Where's your mum? Can I go down? Where's your mum? Bear. Yeah, where, Bear. Is, where is she? She's worried about they're you. They're abandoning it. <laughs> well, they're trying to find another way around. Where's the farmer? Oh, it seems that they've managed to get over the fence on that side. No, the fence is back there. Oh. I always want to go and pick it back on the right side of the fence. Hey, buddy. Mm. He's gone. Oh, there's a first. man coming. Oh. There's <laughs> two of how did you lock it over the fence? Maybe they're in the right spot. I don't know. But why would a farmer put them here and get up and around? Yeah, they must. Hey guys. I want to give them a cuddle though, that's so cute. Damn. Bear. Yeah, I did get the sheep. Sorry, the the okay, yeah. Sheep and humans talking in the forest. In the forest. Humans are open source, right? We can mimic all kinds of animals.
we're healthy. Oh good, I know where we are. Oh good. What is that? Why is there just a random concrete thing in the manhole? It's probably part of the drainage system. They don't drink out of that stream. Wow. Is that a stream you drinking out of that? I had wildlife in there. We like to set ourselves just a random goal, like on this particular oh, day, it nice. was yeah. we wanted to get oh, some man, meat yeah, from a specific butcher at Fishbark. Cool looking and we totally could have gone to a butcher nearer to home, but it's nice to have a goal. There was also a much quicker way to get to Fishbark. But we chose the first walk instead. It's just going under the road, otherwise the road would wash away from water. No, it would stink. Yeah, true. The other end of the park is there. Oh, it's just like... Be careful, lads. You could easily slip off a rock that you think is safe. Do it. Yeah. Why uprooted? Yeah. I wonder what plants are sent here. Mm. I wonder if it'll um, grow decent enough for this to secure itself. the game, I'm trying to avoid the trees. Left play, don't hit the tree. If you hit the tree, you'll die. Don't dawdle between the logs. You better not hit the tree. What's the time to leave the moving gas? That's a creepy looking forest oh up there. Oh god, you don't want to go Oh wow. Oh jeez. What? Is that fog? No, it's a Or Very dust fish. or something, because it looks like where it's fog. the human sacrifices occur in this region. <laughs> oh, that's really creepy. Oh.
Did everyone notice that this is not downhill? It must be a different variety because they are so much bigger in Oz. That might be where the Christmas tree ornaments came from, hanging pine cones and stuff on the tree. I think they use pine trees as Christmas trees, don't they? Yeah, or a type of pine, yeah. I had one particular commenter voicing some concerns about my children not wearing shoes. I just wanted to point out they have shoes. You may have noticed that my 14 year old son, Adam, was wearing shoes at the beginning of this forest walk and he chose to take them off. Uh, my youngest son, James, he also has shoes with him. I don't know if I showed it in this, but he did put them on at one point. Um, yeah, they're pretty much teenagers and I don't know about anybody else, but when dealing with a teenager, if they want to not wear their shoes, you, it's really a matter of like picking your battles with teenagers and children in general. Uh, and this is not a battle that I am willing to take up. When we go into a shop or some other kind of business, I do ask them to put their shoes on before we go in, um, just out of respect. Uh, when they go to the shop on their own though, that is none of my business whether they put their shoes on or not. Um, also, in our culture, in Australia, it is not uncommon to be on a train and someone get onto the train, like a regular looking person, Hello? not like a homeless person or anything like that, just a regular person to get on the train with no shoes on. It's perfectly normal. I'd like to explore that way. Mm. Or we could explore this way. Mm. Let's go to fish bar. Face away from it. Ah, they look like a trailer. After quite a walk in the forest, the problem with this particular plan became apparent because we were going to pick up the meat. We still had to walk back home, <laughs> cook it before we could eat. Uh, we did stop and get a juice. So we had a little bit of sugar in our system at least to get us home. I wonder if that other path would have come out here. The one with the lady with the dog. Oh, I see some yarrow. What is that? It's 17 minutes past five. That is a really beautiful view. Mm. Oh, man.
I feel like this particular video does not tell much of a story unlike the last one, so it's taken me a while to edit it because I'm not really sure what to do with it. So I'm just going to stick it up as it is, us going for a walk, getting some meat, uh, and walking home, but mostly not on video because... Th oh yes, I believe my battery, like I ran out of battery. Well, we have new emergency water. They usually sometimes run both the same. Oh, really? Yeah. That is. And do they work when you put them in the machine? I've seen people put them in the machine. Oh, okay. People pay a lot of money for mud. <laughs> they really do. Foot therapy. Total foot therapy. Charge 600 bucks. I'm telling you, mate. You set up a fancy shop, put a nice <laughs> sign up, and uh, sell people mud baths for their feet. They'll line up. <laughs> Organic mud. It has to be from somewhere exotic sounding. Yes. From... The deep sea, the dead sea, sorry. Well, where where yeah. would you do it in Australia? You need a, you need a source that is actually really cheap. Ooh, LaRue. Like sounds there. And then we finished walking home and cooked up our meat. All right, guys, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.